Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Jerry, now Jerry Curls. Um, I wanted to show you guys while I did my big chop. As you can see, um, I transitioned and you can see all that um, relaxed hair at the end. Now, it took me about a year and a half, a little over a year and a half to get uh, all that new growth grown out. And I just got tired of dealing with both types of hair, like, you know, having the ends relaxed and then the top part curly. Um, I'm not quite sure what my hair type is or what my curl pattern is, but um, I decided to just give you guys a video of what I do. So first off, I'm going to section it and I'm going to um, put some conditioner on it. I ended up using the Shea Moisture um, Restore and Growth. I think it has black castor oil in it. I'll show you guys it in a minute. I actually didn't really prefer that conditioner, but I mean, hey, it worked for the purpose. I don't know about y'all that are um, transitioning. If it was hard for you to comb out your relaxed hair at the end, I think my hair was just so fried at the end. It was always an issue to detangle. It just like made me crazy. As you can see, it's pretty long. Okay, so I'm just applying the um, conditioner to the piece that I sectioned off. And I'm nervous, so I'm trying to like dance it off a little bit. <laughs> See, my ends are just like fried. And I think eventually if I would have just kept growing it out, it, they would have started breaking. I mean, they were there was already some breakage, so I was just ready to get it over and done with. I didn't know who to go to. Um, I just was like, okay, I think I've watched enough videos. I think I can do this myself. Ooh, look at that bounce back. Boy, that made me happy. <laughs> so I twisted a little bit just to get the um, relaxed ends to like stick together so I could kind of know where to cut. And here goes nothing. Boom, first cut. Can't go back now. <laughs> there is no turning back now, guys. There's a few stragglers in there. It shrunk up a lot, right? Now for the other side. All right, that's what I'm talking about. I'm already feeling 10 times better. As you can see, I just finger parted it. I didn't really do any precision parting or anything like that. I just kind of went with the flow. It was like now or never. <laughs> My sister was actually like, you're not gonna do it. I was like, I'm gonna do it. I mean, by all means, if you guys are not comfortable with doing it yourself, do seek out a professional. Um, I just really, in my area, I did not know who to go to, and I typically, that hair in my eye, <laughs> I typically, um, do most of my, most of the things to my hair myself, 
It's just I always, you know, if I go get my hair done, I never really like the, the way it turns out. And I'd rather, you know, I guess mess it up myself than let anybody else mess it up. So I can't be mad at anybody but myself. But I'm going to keep on with the same process and um, I'll be back to you guys in the video. I'm going to be quiet so y'all can watch. Oh, and another thing to let y'all know, um, my hair was actually cut into a bob. I kept it cut into a bob, so it was already shorter in the back and longer in the front. Um, I thought about keeping it that way, and I was going to do not a big shot, but just get it trimmed, like a lot, like take two inches off. And then the next time, like let it grow out some more, and then the next time I was going to get it all, you know, cut on the relaxer cut off. But I changed my mind. I was like, okay, if you're going to do it, just, just go do it. Because I didn't want it to be halfway done. Like I said, I got tired of the straight and then the curly. Them curls already trying to pop. Wait for me. And there it is. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, and this is the finished product, or at least what I'm going to do to it. Um, I love it. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I have an afro. I had to stop recording like earlier when I was cutting it because I was nervous. Super duper duper nervous. And I was just like, okay, I don't want to mess up. So let me just, let me just stop and then just come back and then speak to everybody. So, um... I'm not quite sure how to show you my curl pattern right now. I don't like the leave-in conditioner that I put in my hair to do it. Um, but I'm going to rinse that out and probably put... I don't even know what I'm going to put in my hair. This is just about to be so interesting and this is definitely going to be a journey. So I will be recording more videos of things that work for my hair. I can't even tell you what type of hair I have. I can't tell you if it's high porosity, low porosity, um... What I just know that all of this straightness, all of the straight hair is cut off. And I feel super duper 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 free right now. I'm super excited. And I hope that you guys will enjoy this journey with me. I know you guys have seen a million uh, big chop videos, but I don't know. I've watched a million to figure out what to do. And you know what? Really, for me, it all it was was just getting in there and just doing it. I was like, who am I going to go to? Who's going to cut it? Who am I going to trust to cut it? And I guess I ended up trusting myself. And I mean, so far, I think I did a pretty good job. I just need to go and let them pick it out and shape it up because I want it to be like super round. And um, I'm going to post also a before picture. And really, I didn't cut much, but like two inches off. So I don't plan on straightening my hair anytime soon. I definitely just want to keep it healthy and thick. So um, this is the right after. So once I get my curls popping, I will definitely post it in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll talk to you all later. Bye. You cut your hair off. Why would you do that? Y'all grow hair and then you want to cut it off. Why would she cut all her hair off? Because I wanted to.